Today I want to talk about putting sustainable policies in place within your business. You have to first of all decide what you want to do. It might be that you want to concentrate on your power usage to your electric is an easy one to do. But to do that you need to probably get, get a champion within your staff. You can't do it on your own and you've got to take your staff along with you. So appoint somebody who's going to be in charge. You need to monitor what you're doing. Look, look at um, ways. It doesn't have to be difficult. There were plenty of free resources on the internet. There were plenty of free um, posters, but you need to get your staff involved. Get them thinking. At home, they probably do all of this. They probably are used to turning lights off and, and not using lights and they change their, their bulbs to LEDs, etc. But because they don't pay the bill, they are more likely to forget what they're doing when they were at your premises, when they were at work. Appoint a champion, have regular staff meetings, tell them the progress you're making. It's the same with food waste. You can get food waste from several areas. There can be the food waste due to making your product, your prep, your veg peelings, your meat trimmings. You need to, need to set aside a week where you're measuring all that. You want to measure the amount that you are wasting through trimmings and veg trimmings. You want to reduce them. You want to measure the amount that you're getting through food spoilage where things have gone off in storage. And you also want to measure what is coming back from the plates. So it's stuff you've sent out to the restaurant, stuff you put on the buffet, stuff you sent out to functions that at the end of the night hasn't been used by your customers and has come back in. Why is it important? You need to be able to measure it and also add a factor in that what you think it costs to produce it, to buy it in and to get rid of it so you can come up with a financial figure. Then you can use that again with a a champion member of staff to look at ways of reducing it. As I've said before in a previous video, can you reuse it can, in your menu? Can you jig your me menu to use stuff that's come back? Classic example I've used before is can you use a, what's left on the Sunday Calvary on a Monday for chilies, for stews or for the, the curry club? Curries on a Monday night are a classic way of using stuff left from the weekend. It's great, it will help your bottom line, it'll help you be sustainable, it'll help the planet.